Let's get started by sitting on your bottoms, on your mats. As I said, we're gonna be the opposite of January in lockdown. We're gonna have a nice time. We're gonna have a fun time. We're gonna get all warm and we're gonna pretend it's sunny and we're gonna feel good. So, sitting on your bottom, crossing your legs if that's comfy for you. Now cross them the other way so it feels weird. Does it feel weird? Yeah, we always do things on one side more than we do them on the other side and then we get a bit wonky. So I'm here to balance you out. We've talked about something that good that's happened. So now I want you to rub your hands together as quickly as you can to get them nice and warm. And then you're gonna imagine they're covered in loads and loads of sticky yoga glue. And you're gonna rub that glue all over your bottom. And then you're gonna stick that bottom to the floor and it's stuck now. Nothing you can do, you're stuck until we wipe it off. From there, you're gonna take a big breath in and reach all the way up to the ceiling. And then imagine you've got a piece of string coming out the top of your head and you're gonna tie it to the ceiling in a nice big bow. And then you can float your hands all the way down. So we're sat up nice and tall now. If we're sat up nice and tall, we've got loads of space in our lungs to take really big breaths. If we take really big breaths, then it helps us to feel calm, but it also helps us to concentrate. So it's a win-win, really. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do some snake breathing. So what noise does a snake make? A hissing noise, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a really deep breath in through your nose. And then you're gonna do a really long hiss out of your mouth like a snake. That was a big one. Let's go again. Let's see how long we can make our, hi our hissing noise. Take a big breath in. And hiss for me. Oh, fantastic. Okay, one more. The longest hiss you've ever done. Think about being a really long snake. Let's take your biggest breath so far. And hiss for me. You out hissed me. Very good. So our brains are ready. We're in the zone. We're going to start stretching our bodies now. So start nodding your head like you're saying yes. Yes, please. Maybe your chin touches your chest. Fantastic. And then you're going to shake your head side to side like you're saying no, thank you. Great. Can you write your name with your nose in the air? I only have three letters, so it's really easy. <laughs> but it's always funny to watch you. Yeah, Summer, you got a pretty long one there. <laughs> well done. We're gonna take a big breath in. Can you reach all the way up to the sky, hands together, and then can you turn yourself into a banana and lean one way? Oh, big stretch all the way down your side. That's it, you can always put a hand down to catch you. Big breath in to come up, take a big clap, and then leaning like a banana the other way, feeling the stretch all the way down here. Oh, good, if you wanna put a hand down to help, that's fine. Coming back up, and then circling your hands down, good. Let's twist from side to side before we stand up. So can you take your hand across to your opposite knee, that's it. And then twist around, looking behind you, twisting around your belly. It's really good for your belly if you get a belly ache. It helps everything in your belly work properly. Good. Back to the middle and swap to the other side. Twisty, twisty, twisty. Imagine you're squeezing out flannel or something. Nice. And coming back to the middle. I think we're ready to stand up. But I don't want you to just stand up normally. I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Squeeze yourself like a lemon. You're gonna rock and roll up and down your back three times until you can stand up. If you want a challenge, don't use your hands to stand up. Rory's off, let's go. One, two, if you go all the way over, extra points. Three, if you can stand up, maybe you don't use your hands. Coming to 
our mountain pose. Brilliant. Rolling all the way up for me and standing tall with my hands out next to you. Can you look down at your toes, lift them all up and then spread them out as wide as you can so you can see the floor in between your toes if you haven't got socks on. Brilliant. Roll your shoulders all the way up to your ears and then bring them away so you've got a nice long neck. Strong mountain pose. We're going to do our poem for our sun salutation, which is going to make us nice and warm. Here we go. Standing tall in mountain pose, reach up high and then touch your toes. Bend your knees as much as you need. That's it. Walk your feet back on your mat and then lower down just like that. Good. Upward dog, looking at the sky. Downward dog, bottom tie. Great. Walk your feet towards your hands. Rolling up to mountain, we stand. Really good, guys. Let's do it a few more times so you can really get in the groove. Standing tall in mountain pose. Reach up high. Touch your toes. Give them a tickle. Walk your feet back on your mat, lower down just like that, really nice, upward dog looking at the sky, downward dog, bottoms high, walk your feet towards your hands, rolling up to mountain we stand, oh you guys are pretty pro, really really nice, who's that joining us, is that Lola? Yay! Nice to see you, Lola. We're going to do one more of our sun salutation. So you've just caught us at the right time. We're going to go one more time. We're going to say it again for Lola. Standing tall in mountain pose. Reach up high. Tickle your toes. Walk your feet back on your mat. Lower down just like that. You can always drop your knees. Upward dog, looking at the sky. Downward dog, bottoms high. Walk your feet towards your hands. Rolling up to mountain we stand. Good job. Right. We're going to do our poses now, which involves me reading you this poem. Now, Lola, it's your lucky day. You might remember this one from a while back when we did it together. So we're going to do a poem which is called, Today is a Very Boring Day. Hands up if you had a boring day. Yeah, we did. I'm glad that you didn't, Summer. I'm very, very glad that you didn't. So it goes like this. Today is a very boring day. There's nothing much to look at and there's nothing much to say. There's a peacock wearing sneakers. And there's a penguin on my head. Okay, first of all, that doesn't sound very boring to me. Anyone see the peacock wearing trainers today? Anyone had a penguin on their head today? No, okay, I think these deserve some poses. So, we're gonna do a peacock pose. Peacocks are birds, aren't they? Yeah? Let's do a bird pose for our peacock. So we saw a peacock, a bird, and you're gonna have nice big feathers. You can do a big circle with your arms whilst you come into your bird pose. Try the other side. A peacock wearing trainers. Can you t dive all the way down and tie up your trainers? Good. A peacock wearing trainers and a penguin on my head. Legs together. Open up your feet wide and bend your knees a little bit. A bit like ballet, but we're also going to waddle like a penguin. Can you waddle towards me and get on top of my head? <laughs> there was a penguin on my head. I mean, pretty boring stuff. Good stuff. Coming to sit down to listen to the next one. There's a dormouse on my doorstep. I'm going back to bed. What do you think could be a mouse pose? Any ideas? You can just show me. What would you do for a mouse pose? Oh, Will has nailed it. Coming down, make yourself as small as you can. There's a dormouse on my doorstep. Oh, I'm going back to bed. Big yawn, so boring. 
Good job. Today is very boring. It's boring through and through. There's absolutely nothing that I think I want to do. I can see giants riding rhinos. What? And an ogre with a sword. There's a dragon blowing smoke rings. I'm positively bored. Anybody seen any of those things today? No, I would say that was a pretty spectacular day. So what have we got? We've got giants, rhinos, ogres, dragons. What do we think? Can you make yourself as big as you possibly can to be a giant and do some big, stompy, giant footsteps? Giants riding on rhinos. Let's come down to all fours and give yourself a rhino horn. Can you balance on one hand? Good, try the other side. Giants riding rhinos. Ogres, come up, nice wide legs, bending your knees and turning out your feet. Ogres, show me an ugly ogre face, grrr. Ogres with swords, draw your sword. Hwa, 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 hwa. Ogres with swords. And there's a dragon blowing smoke rings. Turning to drop one knee on the floor, lifting up your hands, and then you're gonna blow out really, really, really loud all of your smoke. Dragons blowing smoke rings. Can you turn around and do the other side? Big breath in. Yeah, dragons blowing smoke rings. How positively very boring. I see these things all the time. Today is very boring. I could hardly help but yawn. Ooh. There's a flying saucer landing in the middle of my lawn. What's a flying saucer? Aliens? Aliens. Yeah, pretty normal. And a volcano just erupted less than half a mile away. And I think I felt an earthquake. It's a very boring day. Flying saucer, let's spin around. That sounds fun volcanoes and earthquakes. It's coming to stand, can you, can you have your legs together and then make your arms draw a big circle all around you like a flying saucer? Got aliens coming to land in your garden. Very normal. And then make yourself really small. You can pat on the ground. We're gonna erupt like a volcano in three, two, one. Whoosh, jump in the air. Come back down. Let's have another go. We're going to pack for three, two, one. Whoosh! Oh, volcanoes erupting everywhere. And there's an earthquake. Sitting down, I want you to pack all down your legs and your body and your arms because the world is shaking. It's a very boring day. Whew. Relax. So what do we think? I scared my cat. He thinks there's an earthquake now. What do we think? Do we think that was a boring day? No. Okay, let's do all the poses one more time. I won't read the poem. No. We're just gonna do all, <laughs> yeah, you're right, Rory. We're gonna do all the poses all together. Let's see if we can remember them. And my cat's joining us too. Okay, so we had a peacock. We had our peacock wearing sneakers, wearing trainers. Try the other side. A peacock wearing trainers and a penguin on my head. And a penguin on my head. Giants riding on rhinos and ogres, grr, with swords. Oh, 
dear. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's very, very tiring and not boring in the slightest. Not boring in the slightest. Did you enjoy that poem? Are those things that have happened to you today? No. They're not things that have happened to no. me or Teddy. Nothing's <laughs> happened to us today. Will, have you got a question? Yes. I also made this cheetah today for homework. A cheetah? Like the, like the big cat? Like my big cat? <laughs> Let's do a cat pose. Great idea. Coming to all fours. We're going to do a happy cat and then we're going to do an angry cat. Happy cat. He dips his belly and he lifts his bottom and he lifts his face and he gives a big smile. See, well, here's my happy cat. And then we're going to be an angry cat. You're going to push your back to the sky. When cats get really angry, they hiss. And look at your belly button. Maybe you want to hiss like we did at the beginning. Hiss. Happy cat looking at the sun. Smiling. Wiggling your bottom. Angry cat. Meow. Thanks for your help, Teddy. That was really, really great. Always, always a pleasure. Great job, everyone. Are you ready for a game? Thumbs up. Will is unsure of herself. Totally fine. Game time. Oh, Luna. Hi, Luna. She's big now in her little kitty castle. Um, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game called Like It or Leave It. I'm going to say something, for example, cats. And if you like cats, you're going to do a big happy star pose. If you don't like cats, you're going to come into a really, really small mouse pose. If you don't mind cats, you can come into your dragon or your lunge. So you're kind of in the middle. So really, really like it. Don't mind it. Absolutely not. Do you all understand the game? You'll get it if you don't. So I'm going to say some things to you. What about dogs? How do you feel about dogs? Show me. Big, middle, small. I'm going to join in. I love doggies. I love dogs. We're not sure? That's okay. How about chocolate? Hey, that's a winner. Oh, no, it's like mm, in between. How about the rain? How do you feel about the rain? Not so great if I'm not in my wellies. How are we feeling about the rain? No right or wrong answer. Just like to know your opinion. Well, it's like, mm, in between. Yeah, summer's like, absolutely not. My name is Summer. I don't deal with rain. Okay, how about the sunshine? Bing! Definitely. How about spiders? I actually really don't like spiders. I'm really sorry. How does Rory feel about spiders? Rory's like, yeah, pretty into them. Yeah, don't, could take them or leave them. How about mud? How do you feel about the mud? Not, I can't say I love it, but I know that lots of people do. Should we take in turns to say something each and then you can see how everybody feels about it? Has anyone got an idea of something they could say? If you want to say something, you can put it, a finger on your nose. It could be food or an animal or a place or anything. If you don't want to, that's fine. Oh, Willa, you've got one. Go on then. Um... I don't really know what to say, but I'm thinking of books. Okay, well, what? how do people feel about books? That's perfect. I love books. I love books. Yeah, big happy star pose. Okay, Rory, you're going to have to unmute. What's Rory's one? Do you like chameleons? Uh, yeah, I do. Let's come to our, how you feel about a chameleon. Pretty good. If you feel really good, then maybe you'll just wiggle even more. Like, I should have done this one for chocolate. Summer's like, I'm saying it or leave it. Not that bothered. Okay, what else? Any, anyone got any more? Willa, go for it. Snakes. Snakes. We did our snake breathing, which I do like. Mm, I'm going to go for a middle. 
I'm gonna go for a middle one, Snake. Not sure, not sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What about strawberries? What about pizza? <gasps> what about carrots? I love carrots. Guys, you're so positive, you love everything. I can't think of something you might not like. Uh, homework. Willa loves it, you go girl. <laughs> Can you think of something you don't like? Anyone? You just like everything. Go on, Lola. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't like You don't like meat? Okay, that's totally good. If you don't like if you don't eat meat, you're gonna come down here. Great one. Really great. Good job, guys. Okay, it's time for your challenge. It's time for your yoga challenge. Oh, we've lost Lola in the process. How did that happen? I don't know. It's time for your challenge, which requires a small book. I'm just gonna check on the cat because he's making a weird noise. What are you doing? Oh, he was eating my lunch. <laughs> right, so you're gonna need a book. And now this is gonna be a real challenge, so we might practice it each week. And it's something that I learn in a grown-up yoga class. And it's all to do with getting movement in your shoulders, especially if you've been homeschooling like a little computer gremlin, all curled up on your computer, looking a bit like Gru. It's not what we want. So we want to be the opposite. We want to have nice round shoulders, moving shoulders. And this is something we're going to do, and it's called teacups. It's called teacups because the idea is that you can do it with a teacup and you don't spill any tea. But I don't want to take that risk. <laughs> So we're going to do it with books. It can be book cups. Now, what you need to do is hold your book flat. You're going to hold your book flat in your hand. So Lola, you're going to need a book for this. You're going to hold your book flat in your hand. What, make your hand as wide as you can. And then can you turn that book all the way around and back to the beginning without dropping it? Now, it's going to be a challenge and you are going to drop it. So you're gonna spin it. Oh, it's actually really, really hard. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm spinning it all the way around. I have to get my elbow involved. Wow, have a little practice. You're gonna drop it loads. That's totally normal and totally fine because it's just something new that your body's learning. But you might have to stand up. You might have to make the movement quite big with your arm. Have a little go at your teacups. We could call it flying saucers like in our story. Maybe you get your hips involved. See how you go. How are you finding it? Hard. It's really good for your wrists and your shoulders, which have definitely been helping you for your Zoom lockdown lessons, I'm sure. Really nice. Take a break and shake it out. And then maybe try again on the other side. Whoa. See how big you can make it. Can you make it really big? Can you make it really small? Ah, maybe not. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Is it hard or have you got it? Oh, don't hit yourself in your face. <laughs> well done, Summer. You're good concentrating. Good boy, Rory. Well done, Lola. Whoa, look at that. Willa's got a big book there. She's done it. Good job, guys. Take a break. Give yourself a high five. I can't really give you one. High five. High five. <laughs> okay. We're going to do another challenge now. And it involves not necessarily an iguana or a chameleon, just a cuddly toy. Show me your cuddly toys. Show me that you're ready. This challenge is a fun one. We're going to come into our boat pose. We didn't do a boat today, but we're going to come into it now. So if you know your boat pose, don't wait for me. Otherwise, I will show you what it looks like. Sitting on your bottom with your feet in front of you. And you can hold the backs of your knees and that's it. You're gonna lift one leg up and then the other leg up and bounce on your bottom. Easy enough so far. Can you let go? Ta -da! Okay, good, relax, that was your practice. Now you're gonna put your cuddly toy on the mat in front of your feet. You're going to either have your hands behind you or on your knees to help you. 
You're going to lift up that cuddly toy to start with, and then you're going to throw it in the air without falling out of your boat. That's level challenge one. So have a go at that. You're just going to throw it. Oh, that wasn't a great one to show you. You're going to just throw it in the air without rocking out of your boat. See if you can stay in your boat. Have a go. Well, we've got a big toy there. That's a big challenge. Good. Okay, level two, if you so wish, you're going to throw it and catch it. Whoa. I'm glad that one went well. Throw it and catch it without falling out, if you can. If you do fall out, don't worry, you'll get a little back massage while you roll. So try to stay up, throw and catch. Ooh. Let's have a look at how you're doing. It's tricky, isn't it? We're gonna practice these challenges each week and then you'll see yourself improve. And when you get tired, take a break. Really good. Level three, if you really wanna go for it, can't promise this is gonna go to plan. You, you get your toy, you throw him, you catch him, and then you throw him back to your feet. I mean, that's so beyond me. I don't really know. Oh, <laughs> can you catch him in your, yeah, like that. Anyone see it? <laughs> you're too busy concentrating on your own. Let's have a look at how you're doing. Go on, Summer, that was a good one. Little back roll, why not? Throwing it and catching it back in your feet is just, whoo, a tough one. Let's go for three more tries before we take a rest because that was a, that was a tough one. Good job, nice, well done. Give your toys a break, they're probably feeling a bit dizzy. Pop them to one side and have a sit on your mat. And we're gonna try some brain yoga for your brain. Yeah, Teddy's ready. Oh, hi, Luna. Brain yoga. Oh, you've got a cat now. Yeah, this is Teddy. <laughs> oh, so oh, he loves me, clearly. He really loves me. Um, brain yoga, let's take a break because we've been doing so many yoga poses and so many challenges. We're gonna start doing some brain yoga. Okay, make our brain strong. Give your brain a little rub. Give your brain a little rub. Oh, oh, yeah. Is it ready? Is your brain ready? First challenge. Can you pat your head and rub your chest? Oh, turns out I can. Oh, easy. Everyone can do that. Why are you even asking me that, Ollie? Try the other hands. It's just... No problem at all, is it? You've just nailed it. Can you rub your head and pat your chest? It's a bit harder. Your brain's like, wait, no. Rub your head and pat your chest. Okay, fine. You've got me. I'll up the game. One finger forward, one thumb up. Swap. Ah, so the thumb becomes the finger and the finger becomes the thumb. But you're doing it at the same time. Ah, doesn't matter if you get it wrong. The only way your brain's gonna learn it is by practicing. And then when you do get it, you'll be like, wow. It's super, super hard. Good concentrating though. So it's a very mindful activity. Mindfulness meaning you're only concentrating on right now, not five minutes ago, not thinking about what you're having for dinner later, just right now. And it's a good practice for your brain, helps it feel strong and make good choices. That's why we're going to do some brain yoga. So one more time with your ah, thumb up, finger out. Yes, I'm going to go. You got it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. I tried, my brain's tired. We're feeling a bit tired now. Let's give your fingers a break and a wiggle. We're gonna do some final stretches now and we're gonna start to do the winding down, relaxing part of the class. My kitten has fallen asleep in my lap 
which is really not a good time for it. It's not time to rest quite yet, but we're going to wind ourselves down. So, yeah, I can see him, Lola. She's so cute. You can come with me, Teddy. We're going to lie down on our mats now. We're going to lie down. And I want you to hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself a big hug and a big well done for all those lovely yoga moves that you've done today. And then really gently, just little tiny movements, rocking from side to side, not all the way over, just a little bit from side to side, giving your back a little bit of a massage on the mat. It feels really nice at the bottom. Brilliant. And then you're going to let your knees drop all the way over onto one side. But you're going to keep your back flat on the floor. So it's another one of those twists. And then you can look the opposite way to your knees. This is a nice relaxing twist, lying down on the floor. Just starting to let our bodies and our brains know that it's time to rest. Take a big breath in and bring your knees back to the middle. Give them a quick squeeze before you drop them over to the other side. Trying to keep your shoulders flat on the mat like you're lying and looking up at the ceiling. But your knees are twisting round. Looking the other way than your knees if you can, if it feels nice. Good. Bring your knees back to the middle and then send your feet up to the sky like you're standing on the ceiling and give your toes a wiggle. Give your ankles a swivel. Good. Wiggle those toes, wiggle those ankles. This is your candle pose and it makes you feel super calm because all the blood can travel down your legs to your heart. Your heart doesn't have to try and do anything. It doesn't have to try very hard at all. So it lets your brain know that you're super calm. If you know your shoulder stand or you'd like to try one, you can lift your bottom up into your hands and balance on your arms and your shoulders. Legs up to the sky. Try not to move your neck, which is the exact opposite of what I just did. But I trust that I, I don't need to look at you. And you can wiggle your legs in the air if you fancy you can keep them still or you can keep your bottom on the mat and just keep your legs in the air for a minute. Let our hearts have a little rest from all that hard work that it's been doing, keeping up with all our poses. Beautiful. If you're in your shoulder stand, you can bring your bottom back down and then I want you to bring your feet flat onto the floor. So your knees are pointing up at the ceiling, but your feet are flat. And then you're going to open your knees wide. Your feet, the soles of your feet are going to touch like they're like a prayer, like prayer hands. And your knees wide. So you come into your butterfly pose, but we're lying on our backs. So we can call this a sleepy butterfly. And if you want to, you can flap your butterfly knees a little bit, or you can keep them nice and still. And this is going to be almost our last pose before we relax. Take a big breath into your belly, blow it up like a balloon and then a big sigh out your mouth. <sighs> Good job everyone. Your final pose is your happy baby pose. So lifting your feet up to the sky, bending your knees and holding the outsides of your feet like a happy be baby, rocking side to side. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, have a look at me. Take your knees really, really wide and it feels really, really nice. And you can just imagine your little baby rocking around, feeling happy. Really good job, everyone. And then from there, you can lie yourself flat on the floor like a starfish for our final pose and our rest. So this would be a good time to get your blanket. Maybe you want to put some socks on and I'm going to put some nice relaxing music on for us to have a nice relax too. Here we go. 
So get yourself super comfy. If you don't want to lie on your back, you don't have to. You can lie on your side or your belly. But this is the part of the class where we recharge our batteries after working super hard. And we do that by lying nice and still and calm and just having a little rest. Some people think this pose is really, really easy, but it's actually really hard to just stay still. So if you wiggle and you fidget, that's fine. It's quite hard to stay still, but it's really good for you to have a little rest before we get on with the rest of the day. So I'm gonna lie down with you and I'm gonna talk you through a bit of breathing and then we're gonna just listen to the music in silence before I finish the class. So once you've got yourself comfortable, you can put your hands on your belly and take a really deep breath in, blow your belly up like a balloon, feel your hands rise. And then a big breath out, feel your belly fall. You can always balance your toy that we used earlier on your belly if you so wish to have a breathing buddy. Otherwise, just use your hands. And then every time you breathe in, feel your belly get really, really round. And then every time you breathe out, feel it get really, really soft. Breathing in, your belly fills up with loads of lovely, yummy, fresh oxygen. Breathing out, you let it go. Good. You can imagine your lying somewhere nice and warm and sunny. Feel your whole body relax. Well done everybody, stay lying down, stay where you are. Just start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and then have a big stretch along the floor. Make yourself as long as you can, arms above your head, point your toes and then bring your knees into your chest to give yourself a cuddle. Roll yourself up super slow like a tortoise. Great, and then come to sit and face me and we'll finish the class. I'm gonna try and unmute you all so I can hear you. You'll have to unmute yourselves. Sorry, I kind of killed the vibe there. <laughs> I've interrupted the relaxing bit. <laughs> if you unmute yourselves, rub your hands together, make them nice and warm, being attacked by the cat. And then you can listen or you can repeat after me. Think kind thoughts. Think kind thoughts. Thoughts. Say kind words. Say kind words. Have a kind heart. Have a kind heart. Namaste. Namaste.
Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Oh, so, namaste, namaste is a special yoga word that means all the good things and the light in me can see all the good things and the light in you. Isn't that nice? Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.